Hey guys, LP here. Hopefully the sun isn't too bad. Also a new camera. I've got to get used to specific angles. All right, so listen, this video is about maintaining your stockpile, maintaining your food, checking on your food. There are some very specific points that I want to talk about, but before we do, this is video is brought to you by PrepStock, prepstock.net, Nebo, North Carolina, October 12th through the 13th. It's going to be freaking awesome, giving away lots of prizes, and we've got some pretty cool speakers as well, so make sure you guys check that out. All right, so when we start talking about food and storing it, we've got to, we've got to talk about keeping up with it. We can't just put it on the shelves and forget about it. So some of the reasons why uh, it's important to do these things are actually pretty simple. First and foremost, preventing foodborne illness. Man, I need a handle for this camera. This guy's working on his stuff over there. But anyway, preventing foodborne illness. Nobody wants, you know, listeria or some other crazy foodborne thing when you're trying to survive. You know, it's like, hey, this tastes great. Man, you're dead. So we don't want that to happen. The next thing is maintaining quality or maintaining the food quality. Guys, food can go bad. You can eat it. You can not die. But if you're rotating the stuff through your long-term food preps or in your pantry, you're gonna maintain quality all the time. So make sure you're doing that. The next thing is, is it minimizes waste. When we say minimizes waste, it means that we're not gonna lose our food preps. We're not going to, they're not gonna go bad on us because we're rotating and we're paying attention to them and we're doing the things that we're supposed to be doing because we're storing food long-term. And then there's cost efficiency. Man, the sun is getting bright out here. Guys, it's just not cost efficient to buy food, put it on a shelf, and then forget about it. It's just not smart. Don't do it. And then lastly is pest control. Guys, you've got to keep the pests away from your food. Otherwise, what's the sense in storing it? What's the sense in having a long-term stockpile? And uh, we can do that in buckets. We can do that in totes. We can do it a million different ways. And, uh, oh, let's go. some shade. Oh, I got some shade. Uh, now, you can probably actually see me okay. All right, so now that we've gone through all that, we're gonna crack open some buckets that I stored a long time ago, and we're gonna see what they look like. So, let's get into it. Okay, so as promised to my YouTube members, what you're looking at is three uh, buckets that I made in 2021. Um, this one isn't even marked. This is back when I was I had just started to like store, like prepackage my own rice and beans uh, for two persons in their own little packets. Uh, where we're doing the mylar with the uh, closing it with an iron, <laughs> and so obviously it's time to open these bad boys up. I will be releasing no, I I will be releasing this uh, out to the general public after the members have had a chance to make their comments, get their first uh, bids in. And I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you can actually see when I open these containers. I'm going to move them off to the side and you're going to actually see what it looks like when you have something that's this old right here, uh, just kind of sitting here doing nothing. And uh, these are gamut lids. Uh, and I'll probably have to replace these seals, uh, but for right now, I think I'm okay. So we're going to find out. Let me go ahead and move the camera around a little bit, and we will go from there. All right, so we're going to grab, let's grab this one right here first. Let's move these out of the way. We're going to grab this one first. Like I said before, this is rice and beans from 1021. We're going to find out if, uh, it looks like Prepper Cat's trying to get involved. Let's, let's see what happens. Uh, you know, when I bought these gamma lids, I bought 10 for $10. And now these things are almost $10 a piece. So just FYI. And uh, it is on toit. The handles haven't fallen apart yet. But uh, there we go. This is the magic of the gamma lid. So we're going to pop this off. And I actually used um, hand warmers to... Uh, I need to... Am I getting this right? I need to, there we go. Uh, I actually use hand warmers uh, because you, if you didn't know this, you can actually use them to suck the oxygen out of these containers. Uh, this one is, um, I might cut one of these open so you guys can see it, but it is basically, there. it's all rocks inside now. Uh, it's just all super brittle. Ah, it's all, it's not this powder like it once was. I'm curious to see by doing this if I'm reactivating. I'll set this aside and let you guys know about this. But I literally just took these and hit them to, to warm them up and then put them right on top of these paper towels. So honestly, I don't even know what's inside of here, but we're going to find out. 
Uh, so this was after, apparently this was after I kind of figured out that I didn't need to put everything in Mylar after, after I uh, uh, sealed it up inside of these bags. Uh, I'm looking at it and it doesn't look, I don't see any, any major problems. I don't see uh, any bugs inside of it. So I'm kind of happy with that. And these are also ones that I froze uh, before I did anything with. Um, some of the packaging you can see it's kind of melted together a little bit right there. Uh, but uh, this is just, this is nothing but rice and beans. I hesitate to even pull this out because it's literally just exactly as I bought them from the store. No mylar involved at all. So this is not even, I'm trying to get used to this new camera, guys. There we go. This is not even like, this is, I'm just going to close this right back up uh, because I don't see any problems at all. I don't see any bugs. Here, let me pull that out. Let me move this camera a little bit further down so you guys can see it. And we're going to, there we go. We'll do that right. Ah, come here, you. Ah, I'm trying to, it's so tight. There we go. And you can, whoa. <laughs> uh, you got to love it, man. Uh, but you can see it's literally just nothing but rice. Looks like this is the five-pound bag. We've got a, a, a 10-pound or 20-pound bag of beans in here. Now, this is literally just survival food. It's just rice and beans. Uh, but this will get the job done. So all I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to repack this stuff right back up. The, uh, the Gamma Seal, will check that. Uh, and this is almost better than, than how I'm doing it now. Uh, if I check the Gamma Seal, I'm going to lean you guys back here. Something just moved. I don't know what's going on here. There we go. If uh, checking the Gamma Seal, you can literally just look at this rubber seal that's right along the edge here. You just make sure that it's not cracked. Uh, and it'll, it'll, it will continue to work because you don't want to take this ring off that is part of the Gamma Seals themselves. Um, and so I don't even need to put the, uh, 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 the, the hand warmer. I don't even need to put that back in there if I don't want to. But let's just, for now, let's just get it out of the way. So, and then all you have to do with these gamma seals is just spin them until they lock and give them a little bit of a, a hard twist. And now she's sealed right back up. Uh, and then uh, what I want to do is I'm going to, uh, I'll get a Sharpie uh, and I will put, um, uh, inspect it on and put a date on here just so I know that I've had my eyes inside this bucket right here. Okay, so we're going to grab another one uh, and uh, see what's inside of it. So I'm happy with that. I'm pretty sure the last bucket we look at won't be that great. All right, you slackers, listen up. Did you know that we actually have a shoot, no shoot expert who's going to be speaking at Prep Stock? He's one of our lecturers and he's going to tell us all about how to how to do the things that we're supposed to be doing lawfully with our firearms, situations, and things of that nature. So if you have got your tickets for Prep Stock 2024, Nebo, North Carolina, 12th through the 13th of October this year, the sky is not going to fall. You're going to survive. The world will continue to spin. Go get them now. Link in the description. Uh, so this one right here is actually uh, rice, 24, two cups per bag. So that means that I actually did put this one in Mylar. So we're going to crack this open like so. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And then so uh, one of the things that I will actually do is uh, this was the bag that uh, it all came in. And then it's got all the instructions on it. I literally just put it inside here for cooking the rice. Now, obviously, rice is, is uh, one cup of rice to two cups of water. Uh, unless you're doing uh, the wrong kind of rice, but uh, that is what is inside of here, Manhattan extra long enriched wild rice. And so I'll take that and I'll throw that in there. And there was no reason to put a, uh, a hand warmer in here, but it looks like apparently I did anyway, and it is hard. So it worked, it worked. Uh, and then um, these are the Mylar bags. And we're gonna crack one of these open. <laughs> Um, this one is not sealed very well, to be honest with you here. This is, there we go. That one still very much sealed. We're going to pull these out and we're going to remove the ones that are not, you know, really sealed. Like that one's not sealed. And like I said, these are from like this one, actually this one, I think I did this one in 2008. Well, I'm looking for a date, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. And this is literally just rice, uh, for, uh, white rice for, uh, two cups of white rice. There's three that are no good for, well, I won't say no good. I will say that uh, they're not vacuum sealed properly because I literally did this. I mean, you can see how ugly this is. This is literally done with an iron. 
I just used the edge of an iron. We tr I remember we tried to use a um, uh, one of those uh, hair a uh, hair flat irons, and it just wasn't doing the job. So I actually broke out the old iron that I used to use on uniforms. Uh, here we go. Here we go. So I think we're going to be. We'll repack this. Obviously, we've got no animal problems. These are all sealed up. I've got a couple more in here. Yeah, these are still good. And we got one more down here, and that one's still good as well. And uh, now you can see that's what it is. So, and then it uh, looks like I only lost three. And obviously, that's human error. So we're just going to throw these all back inside here. Try not to mess them up any worse than. <laughs> And they may have been for setting for since 2008. And I remember doing a couple, like the very first one I ever did, I, uh, uh, we actually wrote on all of the packets. But then we're like, hey, wait a minute, why don't, you, why don't we just write on all of, or write on the bucket itself. And then we're going to check the seal. That's dirt. But we're going to check this seal to make sure that it's not... You can see where it's like worn right there, uh, but it's not cracked. I don't see any mold. I see anything on it whatsoever. So we're just going to pop this gamma seal right back on here. I'm going to give it a crank it down. We're going to call that magic. And it uh, looks like we only lost three. Um, yeah, see, <laughs> I must have known that this was like going to go wrong because literally I wrote on that one. Um, I did not write on this one, but uh, we're gonna we'll, we will cut these open when we're done, just to inspect them and see. Here we go. See, check rice. There's two packs that I I knew that the, they just didn't seem right. Out of the three, that's not bad. That's that's not bad quality control. And uh, at the end of this video, we'll cut those open, and you guys can take a look at them. All right. So now we're gonna open up the magic, the magical container, the one that is not marked at all. Heavy food grade, I have no idea what's in this, guys. Heavy food grade, BPA-free. Uh, this feels like something I bought at Lowe's. Um, matter of fact, look, there you go. Little blast from the past, guys. Uh, this is what we did back then. We just bought the Lowe's buckets, uh, and they, they actually came with lids back then. And then you buy the Gamma Seals, and uh, you can see where I've had this one open. This is a white ring with, with a red seal. Uh, but uh, this will be interesting to see what's inside of this. My gut tells me it's really heavy. My gut tells me that it's flour that I did not package properly. So I don't know what's going to happen when we uh, when we pop this sucker open. So here we go. Oh, and this gamma seal is broken, guys. By the way, I'm going to show you that. Show that to you. Let's open this up. And okay, so maybe not flour. But if you look right there, can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see through. See that? See the light passing through there? It's cracked. Yeah, this Gamma Seal's toast. So I'm going to have to replace this. Uh, obviously, I'll do that off camera. But uh, once again, then I started getting smart. Like, it's going to get hot. It's going to melt something. It might melt the plastic. So I actually put these hand warmers uh, inside uh, on top of foil uh, to actually use them. So we're going to take that out. We don't need that anymore. And then it uh, looks like this is just like beans and beans and beans and beans. Um, these are, there you go. Can, I don't know if you can beat that. Uh, but we got some beans, we got some lentils, some more beans for 50 cents. Looks like I just, I don't smell anything bad, guys. Uh, that's, that's great. Um, yeah, these are all beans and rice. And this is a 20-pound bag of rice. I'm not even going to try and take that out because every, everything looks good to me. So uh, what I need to do is just replace this lid. And this is one of the reasons we have to inspect our preps. We have to go back every so often and inspect our preps because, you know, nothing's perfect. I mean, I didn't know. This thing's gone through a couple of moves and I had no idea, you know, that this gamma seal was, was broken. So uh, it looks like the, the seal itself is still usable uh, and you can actually replace these seals on these gamma lids. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's what, that's what uh, something from 2008 looks like. Uh, and it's pretty awesome when you can buy a bag of rice for 50 cents. Okay, so now we're going to 
we're going to open up. I'm going to have to change. I'm going to have to change the angle of this camera a little bit just to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. And that's just a cable. Ignore that. Um, so I'm, I've got a pair of scissors here, and this is uh, Czech rice. So we're gonna we're gonna open this up and see what rice from 2008 looks like when it's not sealed properly. And uh, we're gonna pray that uh, we don't have any like serious bug problems. Um, you know, we've got our we had our our oxygen absorber in here. It's kind of hard. And uh, let's see. Oop, there it is. Uh, we're going to give it... It smells fine. I don't see any... But I don't see I don't see any critters floating around in there. And this was even before we started... We knew we, sh we should be freezing the rice. Um, so, yeah. You know, I... Uh, I do wonder about these white, like a lot of these white pieces of rice have little white tips. I'm going to have to look that up and see if that's a sign of the rice going bad or not. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is a 4K camera, uh, but the light's not super great. But some of, these, some of these pieces of rice have like little white tips on them. So we're going to set that to the side. Let's open this one up. This one I wasn't even aware of a possi possible problem. Uh, there we go. And looks like we have the same thing, but honestly, I don't think that this is a problem. You guys tell me in the chat if you can see that. Here, let me put some in my hand here. And so you guys can see that the tips of some of these pieces of rice have like this white spot on them. Um, maybe you can focus on that. Uh, and um, it's on like almost all of them, so I don't... I don't think it's a problem. I don't think it's a problem. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to do the research because I know like with pastas, if you have a pasta uh, that has, it, it looks like it has like little bubbles inside of it, that uh, that pasta is basically done. So we'll, we'll check on this. Take that out. Those are useless. I'm not seeing, like I said, once again, I'm just seeing those white tips on, on the rice. And it's not on every one of them, but it is on lots of them. So I'm not sure if this is if this is even an issue, guys. So do me a favor, guys. Put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'm going to try. I'll do a, uh, a dry. Let me pull this out. This is a 4K camera. So uh, I will uh, do a zoom out and do a hold so you guys can see that. I'm pretty sure you're getting enough light to see the rice. Uh, but uh, let me know in the comments. We'll go from there. Okay, so as usual, make sure you inspect your preps. It does matter. It does matter, guys. Um, you know, the reality is, is that you can put this stuff away and, um, and kind of forget about it, and it's not smart to do that. Also, come up with logical systems and schedules to inspect your preps so that um, you won't have any problems, so that you won't be opening stuff up from 2021 or that other one from like 2008 and finding out that you've got some stuff that's gone bad that you may be counting on. All right, guys, uh, as usual, if you're uh, on your way out the door there, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. There's more to this. Obviously, this will be a members only first, uh, probably for at least a good week. This probably won't, this video probably won't come out for a week, but uh, stay safe. Have a great day. I'll see you when I see you. If you want to support the channel, become a member. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.